Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Memento, and welcome to another Warframe video. This time we're going to continue on the train of Oberon Prime Access, and we are going to get into the Sybaris Prime. So let's get into it. As always though, I will put a link in the description to the Reddit post I use that's like a cheat sheet that has the drop tables for the Oberon Prime, Sybaris Prime, and Sylvan Aegis Prime. So if you need to know where the relics are and what rarity uh, the parts are, uh, that'll be all in the description as well as I'll put a, uh, something on the screen right now that'll uh, have that drop table for the Sybaris Prime right there for you. So if you want to pause the video and get a screen grab of it or something, uh, it's all on you. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. So aesthetically wise, because we all know that for some people, Fashion Frame is the true endgame. It's amazing. The deck Sybaris was already like my favorite weapon for both aesthetic and just in the way it performed, but the Sybaris Prime kind of came in like a wrecking ball, and now I'm torn between the two. I would say the Sybaris Prime does look a little bit better than the deck Sybaris, but it's all on you. It is a great looking weapon though. It's, uh, you know, if you're talking about power of fashion alone, uh, this weapon will be a pretty good fit for you if that's what you like to do. But uh, I want to move into the uh, actual in-game aspects of it. Um, how does it perform against enemies? And the way I'm going to compare it, I'm not comparing the Sybaris Prime to the regular Sybaris. Because we all know the Prime variant is a straight-up upgrade over the regular version. So I'm going to compare it to the Dex Sybaris because the Dex Sybaris is also an upgrade over the regular. So let's compare these two variants. So the Sybaris Prime... Over the Dex Sybaris, it has higher base damage, slightly lower accuracy, it's very negligible, it's still very accurate. A larger magazine, which is fantastic. Longer reload times, that's the only uh, that's the only downgrade that it really has over the Dex Sybaris. A slightly lo longer reload time makes it a little bit more clunky, however you won't notice it. Unless you use the Dex Sybaris like, all the time, then you probably would notice it. It has a slightly lower crit chance from... 30 to 35 percent i believe well 35 to 30 percent however when you sacrifice slightly and crit you're gaining in status chance you're gaining an extra 15 percent status chance so this weapon really is uh, an upgrade i would say over the deck Sybaris. it's not a side grade um you know the higher status allows more procs of corrosive if you're fighting endgame premier which will help kill them faster to a lesser extent, the higher status chance helps you with slash procs as well. So uh, definitely uh, losing that little bit of crit for the extra status isn't really much of a big deal. And with status in mind, let's get into the builds that I have. I have two builds really. The first one is a status build, which is, you know, just a typical kind of vanilla one, no ribbons, etc. Um, you know, you go for the classic triple S as I like to call it. You got your serration, split chamber, and shred. Shred is very important, I believe. It's mandatory on a lot of weapons because you don't want to go through, uh, you know, enemies without punch through. Uh, you know, it's good for crowd control. It's just overall just great. So shred is definitely going to be on there. And then you have your crit mods, vital sense, and point strike for crit chance and damage, respectively. Up next is... Uh, Toss up for whichever you want, and if you have either or, bladed rounds or argon scope. I actually prefer bladed rounds because I believe it gives you more damage over the long run than argon scope. And while I am okay at hitting the headshots, I'm just not as consistent with the headshots. So I believe the crit damage helps a lot more since it's only while aiming. Uh, you don't really need to uh, aim for the head, you can hit anywhere, and it'll give you extra damage in the long run. And then for your elementals. We're going for 60% uh, element status combo mods. We're going for high voltage and malignant force to give yourself some corrosive damage and your status chance. So you'll be proccing some, you know, corrosive. You'll be proccing more, and it'll help you kill endgame grenier a lot better. So that's the build that I typically run with. It's a very vanilla build. You can add a ribbon. Uh, you know, you have a lot of flexibility. You can flick, switch between blade rounds and argon scope. But if you want a little bit more damage, you don't want the status chance. Uh, the next build that I have is a little bit more for the Dex Sybaris. I just sort of repurposed it for the Sybaris Prime. Uh, this is actually, I think it's literally my Dex Sybaris build. 
the serration split chamber shred of course triple s's and then your vital strike or <laughs> your vital sense and point strike Blech, getting them mixed up i'm going with argon scope because that's what i have on my deck Sybris. um and then stormbringer and infected clip if you want to add our uh, bladed rounds instead of argon scope on this build you're gonna need a formula with one more v polarity because my build for the Sybris Prime is three Forma, and I did Forma one of the dash polarities. I kept one in just to have the flexibility of adding uh, a 90% status or elemental mod. So uh, if you if you want a Forma, you just add another V. Um, yeah, and it already comes with uh, one V polarity and two dash polarities, which you know the dash polarities are nice if you're not going for a status build. Even though I believe the status build is a lot stronger. Um, you can just take advantage of it with, you know, Stormbringer and Effective Clip right off the bat, you know, so having those three polarities from the start really helps, uh, because I think my deck Sybaris has five or six form on it, this one has like half, so it's a pretty good deal. But with all that being said, what do I think of the Sybaris Prime? Well, the Sybaris Prime is indeed the superior version of all three variants of the Sybaris. The Sybaris is the base version. Then you have the Dex Sybaris and the Sybaris Prime. Now both priming is supposed to be a straight up upgrade over the regular version. The Dex variant is just another spin on the Sybaris. So the Dex Sybaris is an upgrade to the regular Sybaris. The prime version is an upgrade to the regular Sybaris. So that's why I decided to compare the two because uh, both are already upgrades to the inferior regular Sybaris. Now, the Sybaris Prime is an upgrade to the deck Sybaris. The slight reduction, or the slight increase in reload speed, um, I mean the slight increase in reload times, that makes more sense, is a little bit clunky. However, it does not, you know, it does not outweigh the benefit. The slight negative doesn't outweigh the benefit that you have when using the Sybaris Prime. It would be nice for the Dex Sybaris to have a little bit of something to make it a little special over the Sybaris Prime because there is the argument of you can get the Sybaris Prime whenever, the Dex Sybaris is once a year, so you kind of need to make it a little special. However, I'm like neutral on it. Like the, the Dex Sybaris is still one of my favorite weapons even if the Sybaris Prime is better. I love the Sybaris Prime too. However, uh, you know, you get the free weapon slots, you know, every single year you get free weapon slots because of the three weapons, the dex weapons. So, you know, you can't really complain, at least in my opinion. Um, although I would say it would be nice if they would do a little something special for the dex Zebras now. However, if I had to tier this weapon, put it in a, if I had to make a tier list and I had to rank this weapon, it would be... You know, replacing the Dex Sybaris, it would take one spot above it, but it's still rank S, like the highest ranking weapon, like a tier, because this weapon is, you know, really incredible. Pumps out damage, very effective. <laughs> and, you know, the Dex Sybaris already being a rank S weapon on its own, of course the Sybaris Prime is going to be, you know, above the Dex Sybaris. So, at the end of the game, both are going to be great for mid to low game contents. Like, if you still do that, like, if you're doing invasions, both are going to excel. The Sybris Prime will be a slight improvement, like a slight buff at the end game content. However, it's not going to be super enormously better. It's going to be a little better. But both are still great. Um, and don't go out rushing, you know, if you don't go out to rush your... Uh, rush to replace your deck Sybris because the Sybris Prime wall grate is still, you know, it's, the deck Sybris isn't bad. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But until next time, my name is Memento. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later.